Start. Chciałbym się zapytać. E, jakie, ma, jakie ma przesłanie dla e, białych ludzi, szczególnie dla Polaków? What is your message for the white people, especially for the Polish people, the Slavic left people? Uh, I, I think that, you know, after meeting with you and, and talking about so many different things, is that one of the most important things is we really need to come together. Uh, and just sharing what we know is that there's a great tie that we have with each other. And I'm talking about the beginning, you know, what, what Mother Earth means to us and what's happening to it. And from here in Arizona, in America, I mean, we see the devastation of contamination and really changing the social way of life, the people, uh, how the people live. Because we're talking about colonization and capitalism and what's happening to how the earth is to survive is intertwined with everything that we are and that's all being diluted and so the way we feel here is that those people and i always use the number of 20 percent throughout the world need to come together to save life to save tomorrow to even have tomorrow for all our children and all the things that god created So it's really, really important that you know we, we build on this relationship. And even I was told that that it's important that we, we see and understand what the, the people, in like in your area, Poland, Polish people, others of how we can connect, because we have to connect, because uh, the governments aren't going to do it. Uh, the people who are lost in their ways are not going to do it. So we, we have to step forward and, and make a difference. So, um, you're talking about the 20% of the spiritual people of this world, basically, from the indigenous cultures, from the old cultures where we still, we, we know where we came from, those people, right? Yeah, those are the ones I'm talking about that more or less have went through a lot of ridicule, went through a lot of um, losing their life, you know, because of what they stood for. But really, you know, it was against colonization and capitalism to see that it was all about money and wealth and, you know, for those that will profit. And again, to deny the greatest gift, and that's the Mother Earth to all of us. And so, you know, we feel strongly that there's only 20%, but if we can gather all that 20% all over the world, you know, we can really make a difference. But, you know, we're, we're against time. So every minute, every second, every hour, you know, it, it, we're, we, we need to do something before it's too late. And this is a very important place that we are standing right here. This is Oak Flat in your language. To Chepag of Te. And, and, you know, I tell people, Christian people, to try to make them understand, mm -hmm. because a lot of them use their Bible and they talk about Mount Sinai. Well, this place here is no different. I mean, if, if they want to try to understand what it is, mm -hmm. there's no, it's no different. You know, here is where, where, where the Creator gave gifts to the world. Here is where our language, you know, comes from. Here is where the medicine plants. Are. Here is where we can converse with the deities. You know, if we look at what religion is and, and uh, what what true religion is to the earth, you know, and how we have to coincide together. And that's how crucial this place is, because without it, then our children that are going to be born have nothing to tap into. And they become people that will not even know uh, how things came to be. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, I'm all ja mam takie pytanie, bo my widzimy, że na całym świecie rodzą się dzieci, które są inne. I to jest też chyba 20%. Czy wśród jego ludu widzi też takie zmiany? So he's talking about the 20% of the kids that are being born. They're very unique and special. They're more spiritual. They're more... Uh, they have different character. They're tough. They're being born right now into this world. Does, do you see that in your... In, in Apache people, that they're also born different, that they're a little bit... Um, I, no, yeah, I, I see uh, a, a big difference because we, we are at that, that crossroad. I think that's why. Mm -hmm. Either we're going to forget who we are and be commercial people or continue to hold on to what's important. Mm -hmm. And so I think with people, not just myself, but people across this country, who have been making that effort to really raise their children to understand how everything has to coexist, 
has really brought in strong young people, but we need to continue to be truthful to them and tell them how the real world is and you know and tell them what they're going to be facing that we know that is wrong that we know that's bad you know we shouldn't be afraid to tell the truth to our children um, about what a false dream is like how they say the american dream well you know they you know those things are, are uh, the people the parents need to tell the truth you know to the children and i think that's what some are beginning to do now mm -hmm. that's why we see a lot of our children being strong and mm -hmm. but we need to continue to do the right thing right. in educating them my widzimy że to jest w tej chwili wielka wojna o ludzkie dusze wielka wojna o ludzkie dusze i moje pytanie jest takie czy e, w tej walce widzi jakieś rady dla nas. Widzimy zagrożenia, ale jakie rady by miał dla nas o te dusze? So we see there is a big war of the souls right now. This is happening all over the world. Yeah. It's a big fight for the people's souls. And um, we know that there is a lot of danger coming, but also what uh, what is your advice right now? What should we do? during this time because we know we need to stay truthful to ourselves, to our ancestors, to our cultures, to our beliefs, you know, from thousand years ago, from ten thousand years ago, right? But what else would you say about this? It's, you know, first, we, we've got to hang on to that, like what our ancestors did, what we're doing. I mean, we have to. And as much as we don't want to at times, we have to go, you know, go into that pen where these people sit and not caring. Even if we have to suffer, even if we, even if it, there's times that it may take somebody's life, because we have to sacrifice even for those who are bad, you know, and, and I hate to say that, but that's why a lot of people suffer. But we're at the point where people need to take a look at themselves first, individually, and say, am I keeping the greatest gift alive? Or am I killing? Because you don't want to be a part of killing that greatest gift that was given the world. And those questions that we have to ask those personal questions and, and, and realize the reality of it, that it could mean less money for you. It could mean less material items for you. But those are the very things that get people sick. Those are the very things that change people. Because what we should be looking for is to be happy. We should be judge on what we've given and what we've done, mm -hmm. not on what we can corral and take for ourselves and watch the next person suffer. So it's important that we hang on to what our ancestors hung on to and those that have fought, you know, the same fight that we're fighting. But most importantly, understand that like what we're doing today, coming together, and to know that there are others facing those same battles, but coming together, we can hold on to that greatest gift. And it's just the way it is. We can't give up. We can't. That's right. We can't give up. Musimy dalej walczyć o to, kim jesteśmy też. I wracać do tego. I, I keep saying in my videos uh, on YouTube that we need to come back to ourselves. That's the most biggest power, right? We need to come back. We need to come back to where we came from. And some people say, oh, it's old ways. It's it's thinking that it's old. It's like, no. <laughs> this is the true treasure right there. It's laying right there. We had all this knowledge that was taken away from us as Polish people, as Lechistan people, people of Lechia, 
which they change our names, they change everything, they try, try to change our language, they try to change the names of the towns that they were telling us what is where, right? <coughs> so if something sacred was in that mountain, it means what? Because they yeah. tell us in that language, our language. But then they change the names, right? Like yeah, yeah. They yeah. change the names. What is Mount Graham? Yeah, yeah. What yeah. does it mean? <coughs> like, yeah. why is it Mount Graham? Why they didn't keep it? Why they don't want people to know all of yeah. those important things? Yeah, yeah it, you know, and, and that's why, like, like at your place and our place here, it's important that we hang on and not look at it as as it being an old-fashioned way or the wrong mm -hmm. way. It's the right way, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. because here in America, in Arizona, where I come from, mm -hmm. is one of the things that we tell our children that when you go live in a city. You have to remember that going living in a city is like living in a carcass, living in a human remain that's dead. Because everything that this colonized world has made, like made a city, everything that they use, they killed. So when we look at a city like the Phoenix, like Phoenix, Arizona, that's death. Mm. Then when you're out here, this is saying. this is life. This That's is true. Living. And so when your <coughs> children are brought into this, they understand. But if we take them into the city mm -hmm. and show them that's all that is, then they become numb. What we say is that your volume is turned off. You don't hear the world. You don't hear the earth. But here you can hear everything alive. Everything is alive. But in the city, it's dead. Mm -hmm. So we remind our children that yes, you're gonna go. Yes, you say you wanna do that. Yes, you say mm -hmm. that's the modern way we should live. But you're walking into a cemetery. Mm -hmm. You're living in a graveyard. All those things that make up a city is death. Mm -hmm. Those sand gravel that make up concrete came from a family somewhere that they took out and took there. Mm -hmm. The trees that made the buildings mm -hmm. were cut and killed. So everything there is this place. They were taken from somewhere and put there. And those things cried like no different than us. And those things were killed no different than a lot of our people. And you're telling me that's the modern world? Mm -hmm. That's where I should go? No, this is where we should be because this is the future. Mm -hmm. This is what keeps life moving forward. Yes, yes we can feel it. Yeah. We have a... Um, I'm going to take off my shoes now because I have this vision. And um, what we do, we walk barefoot to connect with Mother Earth. Yeah. So we take off our shoes, we take off our socks, and we walk on the ground. Because this is the way we can absorb and we can connect and we can we can really be together with Mother Earth, right? Right. So we call it Bosenga. Bosenga is walking on the ground barefoot. <laughs> so I just I felt I want to do it because I talked about this and it's in our culture. Our ancestors did this, and if we we wear shoes too much, we get sick. And we, if we don't come into nature, we don't connect with the Mother Earth, we get sick. We need to cleanse all the dirtiness and all the toxic things that the modern world has given us. And we need to reconnect again. That's the only way we're going to be in balance and harmony and together with Mother Earth. Harmonize, right? Right, I agree with you. Ja bym chciał powiedzieć, że wierzę w to, że my jesteśmy braćmi i jeśli będziemy w tym wszystkim razem, to w to wygramy. He said that he believes we are brothers. And if we're gonna believe in it together and we're gonna do this together. Because we are doing this for the good source, for the good reason. The reason is not good. The reason is keeping everything in balance and harmony with the natural law. Yeah. of Mother Earth. And, and I believe that. 
you know, and that's why I'm real grateful to today that we've come together and I just see more of a blessing <coughs> moving forward and tackling these issues because I need you, I need your people, and you need me and you need my mm -hmm. people. And, you know, that's where I was telling you that in Apache, in our language, Boston, is the tail and the head coming together. So if we, if we think about this battle that we're facing, you guys faced it first. And we're the tail of all these colonization in the whole world. This is the last place here in America. And we're the tail. And so we see that turning mm -hmm. in creating what is the sign of the Mother Earth. And that's why I'm, I'm excited about today and and about moving forward but you're you're so right because we we share the same um, religious connection um, with who we are to mother earth as you show walking on the ground you know we we say the same thing that mm -hmm. even our shoes disconnects us mm -hmm. and the mother earth is a healing mm -hmm. the mother takes care of us if we let it so yes. Yes. I'm, i'm excited no, bardzo chcemy podziękować, że powiedział to do polskich ludzi. Kanada. So powerful, nobody will believe, right? That, yeah. And we are do, we're those little lights, yeah. you know. And we we want to share this light. And we want to connect this light because the more lights, the more powerful we are to bring this light into the earth and, and help that in light, not the darkness, in light. Sounds good. <clears throat> in Apache, we say. Um, And what we plan to do, Gojoro Lef, Hayunakaihi, which means that let our road be guided by the Holy Ones as we move forward. So, thank you. Well, thank, thank you. you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for everything. Oh, this was good.